Whether you're ready or not, graduation is here. Besides our wedding, this is the second most important day of our lives. This is a time for us to grow and blossom into young adulthood. A time for us to celebrate all our hard work. A time for, whoa, wait a second. Don't let your makeup ruin your big day. Today I'm going to show you two perfect smudge free waterproof looks to wear to your graduation. The first look is more classic and bold and the second is more fun and youthful. The face makeup is the same for both looks so let's get started with that first. If your graduation is outside be sure to wear SPF because you're going to be sitting in the sun for a long long time my friend. The one restriction was the friction that was Starting with the face, I'm applying a liquid foundation from the Flower line by Drew Barrymore. I'm applying this with a beauty blender because it will push it into the skin more than a brush would. And that will help it hold onto your skin longer and last a lot longer too. NYX has this great waterproof concealer that you can find at Ulta and I definitely recommend using this because you might shed a few tears at your graduation. And now I'm stuck to you. And it was during this time that I realized I shouldn't have worn stripes with my cap because it makes me look like a sailor. My liquid foundation gives me such a dewy look. A little too dewy. So I'm going to set everything with a mattifying powder. Ah, much better. Now I'm filling in my eyebrows with Elf's Eyebrow Kit in Medium. I never knew that you are crazy glue, darling, and now I'm stuck to you. Okay, our face is done, so let's get started with look number one. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> I'm applying a shimmery beige color onto my lid just to help brighten my eyes. We're really not doing too much with eyeshadow for this look. It's all about the eyeliner and red lip. Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner is a great eyeliner that lasts all day. So I'm lining my eyes and winging it out at the end and then for a fun twist I'm going to draw a second line right under the wing I created and this gives a cool double wing effect. I never knew that you are crazy glue, my darling, and I'm stuck to you, but I'm cozy and I don't wanna wiggle loose. Waterproof mascara is a must because, like I said, you might shed a few tears. For blush, I'm using a rosy color by Milani and applying that to the apples of my cheeks and blending back. Okay, now time for the fun part, red lips. I'm using Maybelline Red Revival, and to make sure you don't get lipstick on your teeth, just pop your finger in your mouth and pull it out. The lipstick that is on your finger is the lipstick that would have been on your teeth, and that would be embarrassing. So now look one is complete, let's move on to look number two. And now I'm stuck to you, but I'm we're using a little more eyeshadow in this look, so I'm priming my eyes with NYX eyeshadow primer. For eyeshadows, I'm using the e.l.f. Butternut Quad, which is one of my favorites, and it's only a dollar. How cool is that? I'm applying the lightest shade onto my lid, and then the medium brown into the crease. You're like syrup in the slushy tray, and why I'm touching you and I will never leave. For added depth, I'm taking the darkest color and applying that just on the outer corner. I thought it'd be fun to add a pop of color, but if that's not your thing, you can totally skip this part. But I'm lining the outer half of my lash line with a bright blue eyeliner from CoverGirl. And then to add a gradient effect, I'm using a Maybelline color tattoo in this gorgeous light emerald color on the inner half of my lash line. It's fun to add a pop of color and you can use any two colors for this look, maybe even your school colors. Just be sure to keep the darker color on the outer half of your lash line. 
And again, be sure to throw on some waterproof mascara. I never knew. For blush, I'm keeping it simple by using a soft coral color. And I'm stuck to you, but I'm cozy and and last but not least, I'm using a Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain in this nude beige color to complete this look. Which look would you guys wear to graduation? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time! Congratulations to the class of 2013! I wish you all a successful and happy adventure wherever life takes you. Whether you're going to college or working full time or maybe you don't know what to do yet. Whatever it is, go into this journey with all your heart and be passionate about whatever you do. That way, there's no way of failing. Bye, have a magical day.